Murtala Muhammad International Airport MMIA IATA Los ICAO DNMM is an international airport located in Akeja, Lagos State, Nigeria and is the major airport serving the entire state. The airport was initially built during World War II and is named after Murtala Muhammad, the 4th military ruler of Nigeria. Topic: History The airport at Akeja near Lagos was built during World War II. West African Airways Corporation was formed in 1947 and had its main base at Akeja. De Havilland Doves were initially operated on WAAC's Nigerian internal routes and then West African services. Larger Douglas Dakotas were added to the Akeja based fleet from 1957. Originally known as Lagos International Airport, it was renamed in the mid 1970s, during construction of the new International Terminal, after a former Nigerian military head of state Murtala Mohamed. The International Terminal was modeled after Amsterdam Airport Schiphol. The new terminal opened officially on 15 March 1979. It is the main base for Nigeria's largest airline, Eric Air. Murtala Mohammed International Airport consists of an international and a domestic terminal, located about one kilometer from each other. Both terminals share the same runways. This domestic terminal used to be the old Akeja Airport. International operations moved to the new international airport when it was ready while domestic operations moved to the Akeja Airport, which became the domestic airport. The domestic operations were relocated to the old Lagos domestic terminal in 2000 after a fire. A new domestic privately funded terminal known as MMA2 has been constructed and was commissioned on 7 April 2007. During the late 1980s and 1990s, the International Terminal had a reputation of being a dangerous airport. From 1992 through 2000, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration posted warning signs in all U.S. international airports advising travelers that security conditions at Lagos Airport did not meet ICAO minimum standards. In 1993, the FAA suspended air service between Lagos and the United States. During this period, security at loss continued to be a serious problem. Travelers arriving in Lagos were harassed both inside and outside of the airport terminal by criminals. Airport staff contributed to its reputation. Immigration officers required bribes before stamping passports, while customs agents demanded payment for non-existent fees. In addition, several jet airplanes were attacked by criminals who stopped planes taxiing to and from the terminal and robbed their cargo holds. Following Olushigan Obasanjo's democratic election in 1999, the security situation at Lagos began to improve. Airport police instituted a shoot on sight policy for anyone found in the secure areas around runways and taxiways, stopping further airplane robberies. Police secured the inside of the terminal and the arrival areas outside. The FAA ended its suspension of direct flights to Nigeria in 2001 in recognition of these security improvements. By 2010, the FAA had granted the airport its highest safety rating. In 2010, the airport served 6,273,545 passengers. Recent years have seen substantial improvements at Murtala Mohammed International Airport. Malfunctioning and non-operational infrastructures such as air conditioning and luggage belts have been repaired. The entire airport has been cleaned, and many new restaurants and duty-free stores have opened. Bilateral air services agreements signed between Nigeria and other countries are being revived and new ones signed. These agreements have seen the likes of Emirates, Ocean Air, Delta and China Southern Airlines express interest and receive landing rights to Nigeria's largest international airport. Airlines and destinations Passenger Notes Carat 1, Air Italy's flight to Milan Malpensa from Lagos stops in Accra, but the initial outbound flight from MXP to Lagos is non-stop. Air Italy does not have local traffic rights on the Los, ACC sector. Squared, Air Namibia's flight from Windhoek to Lagos continues to Accra. The airline has fifth freedom rights to carry traffic between Lagos and Accra.
Topic: Cargo. Topic: Other facilities. The airport includes the headquarters of the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. It also houses the head office of the Accident Investigation Bureau. The Lagos office of the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority is located in Aviation House on the grounds of the airport. Eric Air's head office is in the Eric Air Aviation Center on the grounds of the airport. Aero Contractors has its head office in the private terminal of the domestic wing at Murtala Mohammed International Airport. At one time, Nigeria Airways had its head office in Airways House on the airport property. Prior to its disestablishment Afrojet Airlines had its head office in the NAHCO building on the grounds of the airport. Statistics These data show number of passengers' movements into the airport, according to the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria's Aviation Sector Summary Reports. Accidents and incidents On 20 November 1969, Nigeria Airways Flight 825 crashed while on approach to Murtala Mohammed International Airport. All 87 passengers and crew on board were killed. Early in 1981, Douglas C-47B5N era of Iraq's airlines was damaged beyond repair in an accident and was subsequently reduced to spares. On 26 September 1992, a Nigerian Air Force C-130 Hercules crashed three minutes after takeoff in the nearby Ejigbo Canal. Three engines failed, high takeoff weight. All 158 people on board were killed. On the 11th of November 1996, ADC Airlines Flight 86, a Boeing 727-231 was approaching the airport whilst avoiding a potential collision the 727 pilots took evasive action but overcompensated, within 16 seconds the plane was flying upside down approaching Mach 1. The inverted aircraft disintegrated on impact, near Edgerine, killing all 153 passengers and crew. On 28 November 2003, Lagos Control cleared Hydro Air 501, a Boeing 747-200 from Brussels Airport for a landing at runway 19R. The aircraft ended up hitting a stack of asphalt, then slewed left with its first engine in contact with the surface until the nose wheel came to rest in a drainage ditch. The Ministry of Aviation report concluded that the cause of the accident was that the aircraft was cleared to land on a runway that was supposed to have been closed. On the 22nd of October 2005, Bellevue Airlines Flight 210, bound for Abuja, crashed after takeoff, killing all 117 people on board. On 3 June 2012, Dana Air Flight 992 crashed in close proximity of the airport. The plane, a McDonnell Douglas MD-83, is reported to have banked sharply prior to attempting to land at Los, subsequently crashing in the nearby residential area of Ajej, killing all 153 passengers and crew on board and 10 others on the ground. On 3 October 2013, Associated Aviation Flight 361 crashed shortly after takeoff. The plane was a Embraer EMB-120 Brasilia, 15 people died and 5 people survived the incident. On 13 February 2018, Delta Air Lines Flight 55 en route to Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport in Atlanta, Georgia, suffered a fire, which was caught in the left-hand engine. The Airbus A330-223 aircraft stopped its climb at 2,000 feet and activated the fire suppression, returning to Lagos for a safe landing about eight minutes after departure. The aircraft was evacuated, five people received minor injuries as a result of the evacuation. See also Admiralty Circle Plaza Transport in Nigeria List of airports in Nigeria <laughs>